I made a deadlift jack out of lumber. It's called the Lumber Jack. Check out how I did it. I wanted to design a deadlift jack made from wood that didn't require using a jigsaw. This is what I came up with. Almost everything was cut with my miter saw and all the angles are pretty basic. I did use a table saw for these two cuts. It was the safest way to cut down the width of this 2x4. It's hard to give you exact measurements for the smaller pieces because this dimensional lumber can vary a little bit. You may have to modify your pieces to fit. The goal is to have everything fit pretty snug. To assemble, I use lots of wood glue, screws, and a couple of bolts. This deadlift jack is going to be supporting a lot of weight. I want to make sure it can handle it. I always drill pilot holes before putting in screws. It helps to prevent the wood from splitting and makes the screws go in easier. I add a third screw into the dowel from the back side. I don't want this thing going anywhere. I add a healthy amount of wood glue before laying the 2x6 piece over the top and fastening it down. The final step in assembly is drilling two holes for the bolts. These are both going through the 2x4. I go over the whole thing with a sander and 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out any rough edges and get rid of the markings from the lumber yard. With the holes pre-drilled, the bolts go in easy. However, I sort of jumped the gun with putting these in. You'll see what I mean later. The stain I chose for this is called Early American. It's a medium brown that makes the pine look a little more like the color of cedar. I chose this color to fit the rustic vibe of the project. Each piece of wood accepts stain differently, so I'm getting slight color variations. I'm okay with everything not matching because this thing is rugged and tough. Earlier in the day, I posted a picture of my prototype and I asked for help naming it. I got so many great suggestions, but Lumberjack takes the cake. I use my Glowforge to make the nameplate that I will attach to the side. Once it is cut out, I realize it needs a flat surface to sit on. I remove the bolts and use my drill press to create insets so the bolts are flush when they go back in. I spray paint the nameplate black. I didn't get footage of it, but I ended up cutting a thin piece of birch plywood to go behind the nameplate to really make the lettering pop. I use four screws and washers to attach the nameplate and we're good to go. I tested it out quite a bit and it's holding up like a champ. If you like this, check out my other videos for more home gym DIY projects. Thanks for watching.